Hello, I've just come in from Walking Brewer. It's wild and it's woolly out there. There's quite a wind and it's cold. So it's good to be inside and it's really good to be talking to you today. And I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you, how do you think we show people that we care about them? That might seem like quite a simple question, really, but I don't think it is. I mean, there are lots of ways that we can show that we care for someone. One of the best is to listen to them. I mean, really listen to them. And that means not thinking about what we're going to do next or what we did before, but listening to what they're saying there and then. Another good way is to say thank you. You've heard me say that before. It's such a simple thing, saying thank you to somebody when they help us. And yet it's so powerful. It means so much. Just think how you feel when somebody says thank you. We can forgive somebody when they do something to us that hurts us or upsets us. That's a very powerful way of saying that we care about somebody. When we say, well, you shouldn't have done it, but it's all right. Forgiven and forgotten. At a time like this, when we can't see one another and people, some people are struggling, well, we can send them a card, we can phone them up, we could text them or email them and just let them know that we're thinking about them. That's a, a great way of showing that we care. And I'm sure you can think of lots and lots of others. But one of the best ways is what I call the ministry of being there. And it's simply that, being there for somebody, being there when they need us. And also letting them know that we are there when they need us. That's so important. It's a ministry I see Jesus living all through the Bible. Again and again we see it. There's a great story in Mark's Gospel of a time when Jesus went to visit his friend Simon Peter. And his mother, Simon Peter's mother, wasn't well. She was so unwell she was in bed and Jesus asked to go and sit with her and so he did he went and he sat with her he was there for her and eventually he took her by the hand and he helped her out of bed and she was all better and people were amazed at this they were so amazed that word quickly spread round the town and people came to see Jesus and they brought their friends who weren't well and Jesus helped them all he showed his love by helping them all by being there for them when they needed him. And I think that's what Jesus asks us to do as well, to be there for people, to show them that we care, to show them that we love the ministry of being there. A ministry is just something that God wants us to do. It's just a fancy way of saying that. God wants us to be there for people the people we care about, the people we love, to be there for as many people as we can, to help as many people as we can. It's such a simple thing, being there, but it makes such a difference. Now, I'm sure you can think of somebody who you can be there for this week, somebody that you can call up or somebody you can contact and just spend some time talking to them, listening to them, being there for them. I hope you have a good week. I hope the weather improves. I hope it gets warmer. I don't think it's supposed to. I think it's to be quite cold through this week. So wrap up warm, keep yourself cosy, but you have a good week. You take care. You be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And God bless. And I'll see you soon. Bye.